now the latest on June 22nd around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The tropics remain fairly quiet on this June 22nd, but there are one or two systems bubbling up that could develop in the next few days, most notably Invest 94W and an area of interest that has not yet received a designation that could form in the eastern Pacific next week. It's day 22 of Atlantic hurricane season and no systems are active so far. Um, of course we had Andrea last month, but none right now. Day 39 in the Eastern Pacific, we're still yet to see storm number one over here. It's the quietest start since 1964. In the Western Pacific, Invest 94W, we're now putting at a 60% chance in the next five days of developing, and that would most likely occur in the Philippine Sea. No systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere right now um, at all, so it's all quiet there. So our top and only feature again is Invest 94W, winds of 25 miles an hour, 1006 millibars, less defined than it was yesterday now, 11 degrees north, 133.4 east, which is 223 miles northwest of Kayangel near Palau. In the next few days this system will move towards the northwest and we're still expecting it to become a tropical storm later down the line, but probably not until next week although there could be the possibility it does happen sooner than that but that the consensus really is calling for maybe Wednesday reaching tropical storm status and heading towards the Ryukyu Islands. Wind shear looks like this, the Atlantic, Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico very high. The Eastern Pacific in the tropical zone towards the east there, it's fairly low for that potential system. And for 94W it is actually quite low for the next two or three days ahead of the, the system as it proceeds. The Indian Ocean is very high as a whole, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. Satellite imagery in the North Atlantic shows a few little uh, disturbances there, especially that one in the central main development region of the Atlantic. There is a huge amount of Saharan dust and dry air in the vicinity, some of it even in the Caribbean. Um, but the Eastern Atlantic especially, uh, huge amounts of dryness which is preventing any early development. And the Gulf of Mexico you can see uh, quite quiet over the water. The Eastern Pacific looks like this. You can see not too much going on. Uh, you'd want to look further east for that potential system which might be forming soon. Uh, further towards the west though, uh, very little going on. Very low latitude uh, disturbances near the equator really. Nothing out of the ordinary. The Western Pacific, you can quite clearly see Invest 94 on the left hand side, but it's looking pretty disorganized in recent frames. Um, what, what we were looking for a circulation in the last few days, and we almost got one yesterday, but now it looks like it's relapsed and it doesn't look as though there's anything resembling a circulation at all. The Australia and South Pacific region is pretty quiet, a few uh, thunderstorms occurring over the uh, eastern part of Papua New Guinea. The Indian Ocean is pretty quiet now actually. There were a few disturbances over the uh, Indian continent, but really it's all pretty quiet there now. Sea surface temperatures in the east and east Pacific are very warm, 30 degrees plus, just waiting for that first storm uh, which could get ignited by those warm waters. The Atlantic uh, is looking pretty good in the western Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, pretty average really as you look out there, 26 degree waters extending out slowly. The Indian Ocean, uh, you can still see that uh, cold area in the Arabian Sea from Vayu last week uh, and the Bay of Bengal there, very warm, 30 degrees plus and the Philippine Sea where Invest 94W is very warm, 30, maybe even 31 degrees Celsius off the Philippines there. The further west it goes, the warmer those waters will be. And this is another look at the floater imagery now of Invest 94W and how it's been progressing in those last few hours roughly a six or seven hour loop that we're looking at here and you can see it's general movement northwest but really it's very much lacking a circulation or anything that we can really pin a sensor on at this moment in time so the coordinates we went with is really very much an estimate of where the uh, worst part of the system is. So as of right now uh, Barry is the next name in the Atlantic Ocean, the Eastern Pacific is still waiting for Alvin and Arconi is next in the Central Pacific. The Western Pacific is still waiting just for, uh, for Cyclone, or the next system, SEPAT I should say. 
which could have come from 94W, still not a guarantee, but uh, it looks like that might happen. Hika is next in the North Indian Ocean. You can find Force 13's outlets the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, subscribe if you haven't so far, search Force 13, and you can also find our social platforms on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text. On Twitter we're now publishing smaller versions of these tropical weather bulletins called TWB Lite. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's Fool13 at extension 9094 and Force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.